Hi everybody, it's Dr. Lou Walters at the Source Wellness Center. February is Heart Awareness Month. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. And in medical circles, it's known as the silent killer because we can have it for years and years with no signs or symptoms. And in that time, all that pressure pushing out on the artery walls day in and day out can cause damage. And then the body tries to fix that damage with cholesterol plaques, which then leads over time to, to heart attacks and or strokes. So a number of things can, can lead to high blood pressure, stress being one of them, uh, drinking too much alcohol, smoking cigarettes, uh, sleep apnea and poor sleep, uh, being overweight, inflammation, too much salt, nutritional deficiencies, and the list goes on. Uh, things that a person can do if they have high blood pressure in addition to medications or sometimes in place of them is to one, make sure you're getting good sleep, exercise, managing your stress, deep breathing. So a four second inhale, hold for eight seconds and an eight second exhale physiologically will put you in a, a relaxed state. And you just do about 10 of those in a row through the day. Uh, following a DASH diet, DASH stands for Dietary Attempt to Stop Hypertension. Uh, and what this diet is, is following base, mostly a whole foods diet, lots of um, fresh fruits, vegetables, cutting down on, on processed foods, uh, too much red meat, dairy products, sugars, um, and really cutting down on salt. So they keep it to about 2,300 milligrams per day, which is a teaspoon per day of salt. Uh, even simple things like having a pet and petting your dog or your cat has been shown to, to lower blood pressure. And then nutritional deficiencies, magnesium and potassium are two common ones. And rather than take a supplement, eating more foods that are rich in those. So dark green leafy vegetables, broccoli is a great one for both. Uh, so it's chard and spinach, uh, also nuts, seeds, uh, legumes, avocados, all good sources uh, of magnesium and potassium. So whether it be um, trying to do a few things on your own, if you're checking your own blood pressure, uh, if you haven't been to the doctor, uh, you should go in and get tested, especially if there's a family history of high blood pressure, but work with your doctor uh, to make sure that your blood pressure is staying down within in the normal range. We don't want to have uh, wait till somebody has a heart attack before we address this and just a simple screening at your doctor's office can can determine whether you have high blood pressure or not hope you found this helpful and if you did please click subscribe and be healthy